Hi, this is Lori with Asset View. In this tutorial, we're going to show you how to quickly make a user defined field. Once you're signed into your Asset View instance, you're going to navigate to the maintenance tab here. Go ahead and click on maintenance. You're going to see user defined attributes here on the left hand side. Go ahead and select user defined attributes. You can see some of the ones I already have set up here. We're going to set up a new one. Click on add new here. Type in the key. For this one, I'm going to put team member. Uh, if you wanted to, to uh, put the sort order in place, you could put that in place here. We're going to say that this uh, particular user defined field applies to all uh, assets. However, I could specific identify specific asset type that it's associated with if I wanted to. Um, and then we can decide what type of field it's going to be. So our options are text, which simply means you can type in the value, uh, numeric, which means it's going to be a, a number field, uh, a date field if we wanted to make it a date field, a pick list or calculated field. For this exercise, I'm just going to show you the pick list option. It's going to ask me for the values here. I'm just going to say John, Mary, and Lee. I'm going to separate them with columns, and we're going to click on save. Once that's saved, you're going to see that that user defined field is going to populate on our list and team members right down here. If I wanted to change the sort order where this appears, so say I want it to be the first field we see on the asset, I can put it here in the beginning. And then to illustrate how this field is gonna pop up now, I can go back and show you uh, how it displays for an asset. So let's go to our asset screen here. I'm gonna pull up a specific asset, pick up laptop one. And you can see here on my asset information screen, here's a team member field that I had selected. If I wanted to make an edit to this so that I can select a team member, say we select John, it's going to select right there. I can click save. And of course, now that asset, that user defined field is updated. And then on the asset search screen uh, that we have here, if I want to display this particular user defined field in this view, I simply scroll down until I come to the team member field that I just created just the top one here and you're going to see it populates right here uh, on the left hand side so that's it um i hope you have fun making your user defined fields thanks for watching bye, -bye.